Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is your instructor of Econ 1580, Dr. Zaman Sachit uh, from University of the People. Uh, lots of uh, students uh, in the past uh, have given me the feedback that uh, the mathematical steps which are being used in the discussion assignment unit 5, they are quite difficult to understand. Uh, perhaps they are away from the school for a lo long time maybe. So I decided to make this video to just to help you out. Now this question uh, is the similar question as your unit 5 but not the same one. You are the one who need to work on the actual question basically. But this will just give you an idea how you should proceed in that question. So it says that suppose that a typical firm is in a monopolistically competitive industry faces a demand curve given by Q is equal to 80 minus 1 by 2 P where Q is the quantity sold per week. The firm's marginal cost curve uh, is given by MC is equal to 60. How much uh, will the firm produce in the short uh, run and what price will it charge? Now what are the objectives here? We need to find out the value of the Q here. How much will the firm produce in the short run and we also need to find at what price they are going to sell it. Now before we go into its solution details I just want to give you some background. Now the equation that uh, you see here which is Q is equals to 80 minus 1 by 2 of P this equation is called as the demand function demand function now what is the demand function basically it basically it is uh, a relationship between the price and the quantity demand so it gives you the market demand at the given price other than this one we have some other relationships the next one is the revenue function Now what is the revenue function basically? The revenue function is the relationship between your revenue and the quantity. So basically it is a function that gives a relationship between how much uh, money company earns for the given Q sold. The third uh, thing is the marginal revenue. Marginal revenue now the marginal revenue is basically this is the function of the Q as well so the marginal revenue is the additional revenue that you gain by selling additional unit of Q technically what we say that the marginal revenue this is find out uh, by taking the derivative of the revenue respect to Q now this is the same revenue as you find out in your previous one revenue function so let's uh, start the function I will explain you what is the derivative in my next slides so the function given is basically that the Q is equals to 80 minus 1 by 2 of P right now first thing you need to find out the value of the P from here in order to do so this 80 needs to be moved to the left hand side because I'm moving this 80 the symbols with the 80 should be changed so it should be Q minus 80 which is equals to minus 1 by 2 of P this 2 is being dividing here so when it goes other side it will be multiplied and this negative should be go on the other side as well so I can say that uh, my P is basically that is equals to minus 2 times of Q minus 80 now this negative 2 times Q is the 2 I am multiplying 2 inside the parenthesis because there is a negative inside this negative will be changed uh, because of uh, this negative this negative sign will be changed to the positive so I can say that I can say that uh, this is plus now and 2 times of 80 is 160 so this is my final equation of the P okay 
Now, if you recall from your lessons, if I multiply this P by the quantity, you will get something that is called as the revenue. In the textbook, uh, it will sometimes write down total revenue. That's the same thing, basically. So what I need to do, I need to multiply this equation by Q. So let's start from here. I multiply by P times Q, which is equals to Q times of minus 2Q plus 160. You know that uh, P times Q is the R, so I write down my revenue, R basically is equals to. Now this Q should be multiplied inside the parentheses, so it will be minus 2. Now Q times Q is the Q square basically. And plus Q times 160. This is my equation for the revenue here. Now that's what uh, basically we call it as the revenue function. So it is the revenue function. Now this is the quadratic equation because it has the one of the element q, it has the power of 2. Now if you, if you recall previously what I told you that uh, your marginal revenue will be the derivative of this equation with respect to q. That's what we need to find out. So let's take the derivative now. So for this equation, this will be dr over dq, that is equals to. How we do take the derivatives? If you remember, if this is a function, let's say it is x power n, and I want to differentiate it with respect to x. So the formula that we use is n, you write down the power and you take one out of the power okay so let's apply this formula on this equation now so it will be minus 2 will come as such and the q power is 2 so the power should be multiplied just from this formula and the q power should be 2 minus 1 right let me take some other color so that you can differentiate. So this positive, now this positive will come as such. And then we need to differentiate this whole equation. So 160 will come as such because that's a constant here. Now the q power is 1 basically, 1 and this is n. And then the power should be n minus 1, right? So the n value here, which is the power of the q, which is 1, so it will be n minus 1. Now we just solve it. So 2 times 2 is the 4 minus 4 q. Now the q power will be 1. 2 minus 1 plus 160 times q. Now q power is 1 minus 1 is the 0. So anything uh, which has the power of uh, the 0 that is taken as the 1. So basically my derivative of r with respect to the q turns out to be minus 4. Now the q power 1 I can write down, down only the q plus 160 times 1 which is 160 basically. So this is your equation which is giving you the relationship uh, between r and the q. Now if you recall from your uh, textbook for the profit maximization the p should be greater than the marginal revenue which is equal to the marginal cost and this is given you in your question statement which is the 60 and what we just find out the derivative here this is equals to my marginal revenue so this is equals to my marginal revenue so I can say that my marginal revenue is 60, my marginal revenue is the 60 which is equals to minus 4q plus 160. Now from this equation you just need to find out the value of the q. So this is 60, this 160 will come on this side 
and the symbol will change of course and this will give you minus 100 which is equal to minus 4 times q so the negative sign of this will be cancelled out by a negative on the right hand side so what I get is the 100 over 4 in order to find the q value and the q turns out to be 25 100 divided by 4 now if you recall your uh, equation previously so it was basically p is equals to minus 2 q plus 160 now I put in the value of the q25 here so my p is equals to minus 2 times 25 plus 160 so that's turned out to be minus uh, 50 25 times 2 plus 160 p so the p is basically is equals to minus 50 plus 160 and it gives you 110 so that's your objectives here so the first objective was to find out uh, the value of your q which is 25 and the, the second one was the value to find out the value of the p which is 110 and if you have any question just drop in an email thank you